Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we are going to be cooking a brisket flat. And we're going to be cooking it on the Ace Smoke Portable Pellet Grill. Okay, I know this is a long cook for a portable grill, but we're going to see if the Ace Smoke can handle the long cook. A few uh, issues that we're going to have to deal with is one, probably refilling the hopper a few times on this cook here. Uh, two, uh, maybe excessive grease down inside of the Ace Smoke. So we will probably put a, a larger receptacle to catch the grease flowing out of the uh, out of the A smoke too, and uh, just the pure size of the A smoke and see how much brisket we can get on here. Okay, so if you look at this brisket, this is a ten pound brisket that we got from the store. Ten pound brisket flat, and it needs to be cleaned up some. We need to take off some of this uh, these the fat and things. But this is the the A smoke grill and. Uh, I'm going to, if you place this on top of here, um, it should fit quite nicely uh, without losing too much meat. I may have to trim off one corner, uh, maybe like this corner, uh, just to make sure it fits inside of the A smoke. But uh, we should get a good test on how well the A smoke does a brisket flat, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to trim this up some, all right? So I'm just going to start trimming off some of these pockets of fat and some of the silver skin all right and uh, you guys don't really need to watch me trim this brisket if you're interested in watching us trim a brisket then check out uh the video that my brother and i did on uh, how to trim a brisket while tipsy um while it may not be the most uh <laughs> um instructional uh video it is quite funny so i'll put an i card up here so you guys can check that out okay so so we'll be right back after i trim this down some okay all right guys so we've trimmed the brisket up as much as i wanted to trim it uh a brisket uh flat already doesn't have a whole lot of fat on it so i didn't want to um, trim too much of the fat off um this is not for a competition this is backyard barbecue cooking I just wanted uh, to cut off some of that hard fat that I know that wouldn't render and um, and get it down and get some of the silver skin off of it. So we're ready to go ahead and start. Uh, first, we're going to cut it down to size for our grate. OK, so once again, here's our grate. And. Like this corner is better than the other one, so we'll set it like this and I'll cut this portion off here hmm that might be a better configuration right there huh I have to cut less meat off so let's do that All right, so we're gonna put it on kind of cat corner uh, when we put it on the grill, okay? That'll give us the most surface space for our brisket. All right, so put this over here. Now, the, the next thing that I wanna do before I put it on there and before I season it is, uh, first I wanna determine which way my grain is running, okay? So, and I hope this cut that I made here initially doesn't get pose any problems, but as you can see, uh, the grain of our brisket runs this way. So I want to put a, actually this notch, so this cut is already telling me which way to cut the grain. So I'm going to just cut off another little piece here, a little flat end so that I know. And I will probably put a small skewer or something in the end of that just to remind me that that's the end to start cutting on so I can cut against the grain, all right? All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to be injecting this brisket today. I found this in the store yesterday and I hadn't tried this before. It's uh, Tony's Steakhouse Marinade. So we're going to take some of this and we're going to inject this in the brisket right quick. And then we're going to hit it with some salt and pepper, uh, Dalmatian rub style, and then we're going to get it on the uh, A-smoke. So hang on, let me do this quick prep work and then uh, we'll get out to the A-smoke on the patio. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and start injecting our uh, brisket with this uh, Tony's Creole style Steakhouse Marinade. And I'm going to pour some in the glass just so I don't cross-contaminate the bottle. 
I had never tried this before. It's like some pretty thick stuff. I'm just going to hit the brisket in a few areas. Like so. It's been a while since, I, since I've done a brisket. So I'm interested in seeing how this turns out, especially on the A smoke. This is going to be a, a long cook. And so normally when I use the A smoke, I use the temperature probe that came with the A smoke. It does a great job. Uh, however, this being such a long cook or a longer cook than normal on the A smoke, I'm uh, going to be using a Maverick to monitor the temperature. That way, uh, I won't have to stay outside with it and continuously watch the um, the gauge on the A smoke itself. All right, and it would have been nice if the A smoke had some type of uh, Bluetooth uh, radio frequency where you could monitor your temperatures on your phone with an app or something of that nature. Okay. All right. So we hit it with a little, with a little bit of the marinade. Okay. So the marinade that's coming out, I'm going to use uh, as a binder and I'll hit it with a little bit more of what's left over in the glass. Turn it over. And as you can see, I left some of the fat on the back of this. I'm going to have this portion of the brisket uh, on the bottom since it's so close to the fire, uh, the firebox, to kind of protect it. All right. All right, let's hit it with our seasoning. This is a 50-50 a of black pepper and kosher salt. And it's got a little bit of a uh, little bit of garlic powder in it, but not a whole lot. So. We already have the A smoke outside uh, warming up, so it's in smoke mode right now. And then uh, I'll switch it over. We're going to be cooking this at uh, 200 and I haven't decided whether 225 or 250 degrees yet. I'll decide once I get out there. Um, and we're going to do the standard brisket technique where we take it to 160 degrees internal and then we're going to wrap it with butcher paper. And we're going to put it back on the A smoke and we're going to take it to 203 to 205 or somewhere in that neighborhood. Okay. All right. So I think we're good. We're going to let this sit here for a minute and get happy. And then I'm going to go outside and check the A smoke and then we'll get her on. So, hey, don't go nowhere. Want to move my feet? Want to drop my one? Want to move my feet? Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop my one? Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop my one?
All right, guys, so we're done with our cook. Our brisket has been in the cooler here for two hours after cooking. And now we're ready to go ahead and slice it and see how it came out, okay? So go ahead and unwrap it. Smells fantastic. I'll unwrap it here because I don't want the juice and stuff all over the place. Go ahead and get this out of here. Come on, baby. Uh, the bottom of it, the fat on the bottom is coming off. Come on. There we go. All right. Now that is a beautiful brisket. That is really pretty. Okay. So. So we wrapped it at 160 degrees and then we cooked it uh, wrapped on the ace smoke until it reached an internal temperature of 205 degrees. And then we took the wrapped brisket, put it in a cooler, a dry cooler for two hours. So now it smells really good. So let's go ahead and slice into it. I'll see if I can turn it toward the camera a little bit. All right. And this is the part where we cut off to make sure that we was going against the grain. So. Looks good. Got a nice smoke ring to it. Really nice smoke ring. And a smoke did a nice job on the smoke ring. All right. So let's see what we got here. Uh, not too bad. See, it's really tender. So, I guess the next thing is the taste test. All right. So it's got a real pronounced smoke ring on it, man. So that A smoke did a good job with the smoke ring. I can smell the salt and pepper. Mmm, smells fantastic. All right, let's see what we got here. Wow, now that's really good. It's moist, it's tender. The salt and pepper bark on it tastes very good. I'm not getting a whole lot of the um, the 30 minute marinade, steak ma house marinade that we put into it, but I might not have hit one of the parts where the marinade is. Cause we didn't put the marinade all over it, just in certain areas, okay? But the whole point of the video was to see how well the Ace Smoke would do a brisket. And uh, at least a brisket flat okay and it did a fantastic job on the brisket flat i hope you guys can tell uh once again i keep talking about that smoke ring but look at that smoke ring right there it's a fantastic uh did a fantastic job uh we only had to fill the i topped the hopper off twice um it wasn't completely empty but just so i wouldn't have to keep coming back i topped it off twice and i'll put the total cook time up on the screen so you guys can check it out okay well, that's about it. So if you guys are interested in an A smoke, I'll put all the contact information down in the description block so you can check it out. I know they're shipping now, so but it was an Indigo uh, project, so I'm not quite sure if they're still taking orders or not. But uh, I'll get, put the links down at the bottom and you guys can check it out. So, so for a small portable um, pellet smoker, it does a great job on chicken wings. And we've cooked everything on it now, chicken wings, steak, pulled pork, brisket, and uh, it has worked out fabulous. Um, you know, like a, uh, a brisket flat doesn't have as much fat as a whole brisket, but you're not going to get a whole brisket on that small cooker anyway, okay? Well, that's it. Hey, thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If there's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Mm. Do some damn good brisket. <laughs>